In this video, I'll share how Microsoft and OpenAI have just unveiled the most advanced AI agent to date. At the Ignite event, they showcased a lot of advancements in AI, including a unique type of agent that stood out. Before diving into the impressive demo, there was a moment where Satya Nadella discussed the Azure AI agent service. While this might not be something the average person would use directly, it's essential to understand what it is and how it works. Doing so provides valuable insight into the evolving AI ecosystem and how these developments could influence the agents you may want to create in the future or the ones you're already working with. This service empowers developers to build, deploy, and scale AI applications that automate business processes efficiently. Previously, I demonstrated how you can use Copilot Studio to create agents with just a few clicks. However, as developers, you might prefer a code-first approach to building agents. And that's exactly what the agent service enables. With this service, you can create agents grounded in data, regardless of where it resides. It could be public data from the web, enterprise data from Microsoft 365 or SharePoint, or even unified data from Fabrics OneLake, which integrates across multiple clouds. These agents don't just analyze data, they can also take action. By leveraging the 200 plus connectors available in Logic Apps, you can extend their capabilities seamlessly. Connect these powerful integrations to the agent runtime, and you're equipped to build robust, action-oriented AI solutions for your needs. And by the way, everything I'm going to show you is actually live, okay? In this demo, I will use GPT-40, our new real-time audio model, GPT-40 Audio, the real-time API, and image processing models all seamlessly integrated into the experience I'm going to show you in a little bit. Foundry offers over 1,800 models for you to choose from. It's pretty amazing. Once I've chosen my model, I can use Azure AI Agent Service, call APIs when needed, and perform actions with function calling. In this example, I have a main customer-facing agent that is then delegating tasks to other agents to understand what the customer wants, what their purchase history is, and to recommend products based on multimodal conversation with the customer. These agents can run micro-intelligent tasks to provide a cohesive, personalized experience. These agents can also be grounded to a variety of data sources, including Fabric. It's pretty awesome. Actively. Let me show you how all of these capabilities I just showed can create a hyper-personalized customer service experience that solves real-world problems in ways that we couldn't even have imagined a year ago. Okay, so I'm going camping, and my friend sent me this picture. And I want to make sure I have the right gear for a winter camping adventure, so I started a chat. Now, notice this is something that's now routine, AI interacting with me with chat and images. But I want to... Chat's great, and, and we all love chat. But what, what if we can break out of the actual chat box? and do a more personalized experience. Because it feels like, you know, AI today, um, it, it feels like it's all just like inside of your chat box. It feels like there's a, there's a lot of co-pilots and stuff. But what if we could do a little bit more and maybe make it a little more personal, hopefully with a phone call? Hello, is somebody there? Hi, Seth, yes, I'm here. I see you're getting ready for a winter camping trip. Can I send the concierge page to your browser to provide more details? You certainly can. Send me to the concierge page, please. Great. How cool is this? Sending you to the concierge page now. You'll find more detailed guidance there for your winter camping trip. So this is awesome. What do you recommend for this camping trip? Hey, Seth, super exciting that you're gearing up for a camping trip. Since you've already got the Skyview two-person tent, let's build on that. Here are a few recommendations. First, Mountain Dream Sleeping Bag. So this is all great. Is there is a way that you can write it up for me so that I can see it, maybe with pictures? Absolutely. So right now what it's doing, it's going to take... The demo we just saw was fascinating. It gave us a glimpse into the future of AI agents and how they'll revolutionize our experiences, especially in customer service. I'm sure many of you can relate to those frustrating moments with poor customer support. But imagine having an agent right there, actively assisting you on your screen. 
This could transform the way we interact with services and solve problems. A few days ago, I made a video discussing OpenAI's ongoing research into agent technologies. One project in particular caught my attention. It's a general purpose tool designed to execute tasks directly within a web browser. This project is reportedly nearing completion, and it's incredibly exciting because it represents a major leap in functionality. We've all heard the buzz about AI agents being the next big thing, and it seems like this breakthrough is just around the corner. For those wondering when these advanced AI agents will be available, OpenAI has announced plans to release this tool in January as a research preview. It will also be accessible through their API for developers. This means January will likely be packed with new AI agent demos as developers start exploring these tools. What's exciting is how developers can take foundational products and build on them in ways the original creators might never have imagined. It's through this creative expansion that we often see the most innovative applications. I'm particularly intrigued by OpenAI's recently announced project, Operator. This AI agent is designed for computer-based tasks, and I can't wait to see what it will bring to the table. I'll definitely be experimenting with it and exploring its capabilities to make the most out of this cutting-edge technology.